So y'all remember I got my microchip in my hand and the hotel hooked it up. Let me uh open the door with this shit. Fire. Yo, so y'all remember I got my microchip in my hand and the hotel hooked it up. Let me uh open the door with this shit. Fire. Yo, so y'all remember I got my microchip in my hand and the hotel hooked it up. Let me uh open the door with this shit. Fire. Tell about the day hour. Fire. Say Braka to Yahoo, Braka to Yoshay, Braka to Yahoo, Braka to Yoshay, Braka to Yahoo, Braka to Yoshay. First and foremost, we want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahoo, Bashem Yoshay, Bashem, Braka Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule with a great millstone, and a blessed salutation to the Akyams in the four kind of the earth to push in the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom. Coming a quick lesson to edify the body of Yahweh Shai, the elect, the 144,000, the one third men, women, and children. Right, this Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he, who he, the elite banking family, the Rock Church, Rockefeller, Dupans, Goldman Sachs, right, the, the top devils, right, Satan, right, he said, and he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand. Or in the forehead, right? Yes, yeah, so like here, verse seventeen, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And the word mark is in the Greek is karagma. This is like a chip, right? So this um this this uh rapper which is a Jake, which is Kid Boo. You know, these devils are going to use the celebrity to promote to the microchip. And this will be seen right here now. You understand? And this is one of the miracles that we see in the, that they're doing with the microchip, opening doors. You know, it can help, it can help, help with men who who, who going to walk and different, different injuries. They're going to use the chip to, uh, to do these miracles. You understand? But all this is deceit, right? You understand? But I have a judgment when you take this chip. And this is why we are exhorting you Israelite not to take this chip. But the scripture says he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. So we tell telling these sincere Akiyams, you know, and the sincere Akwats, hey, don't take this chip. Put your trust in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shem, because there's a judgment when you take this microchip. Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image, which the image is the new world order, and receive his mark, which is the RFID maker chip, in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angel and in the presence of the Lamb. So they're going to be destroyed by fire. They're going to be destroyed by the torment nuclear missiles. Right, because America gonna be the lake of fire, and all these, all, all you, you coons who follow this celebrity and take this microchip, they are gonna be destroyed alongside them. And all you Israelite can teach that the microchip is not is is, is a is a uh, the mark of the beast is an embargo or Christianity or, or a philosophy or spiritual. All those blood gonna be on your hand because your congregation are gonna take this chip, and they're gonna be destroyed. The blood gonna be on your hand, and you are gonna be held responsible, right? So don't take this chip. Yo, so right? y'all remember I got my microchip in my hand. And the hotel hooked it up. Let me uh open the door with this chip. Fire. So hey, obviously let's say the fire and I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who rule by a great millstone. And a blessed sanitation to the Akyams and the folk and the earth to push in the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom.